Hey, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I am the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. And you're probably looking at the size of this screen. Now, this screen is 150 inch 239.1 uh, widescreen panorama. Now, I was thinking upstairs, we've actually been thinking upstairs, and I've been thinking about business partners, and we've just been kicking around this idea. You know, if you like it, you know, leave it in the comment section if you like you want us to do this. We have two different size screens, screens when it comes to blackout cloth. Now the canvas screens are different. These screens are basically designed with detention holes are used for frames. They're designed for outside. That's what the screens are designed for. It's tension, um, tension uh, projection screens. So that's a totally different screen, a totally different category. But the flexible 4K and the original uh, Crystal H technology screens, the difference between those screens is one screen is 16.9, the other one is 235.1. So, I got to thinking, it'd be kind of cool if we could basically combine one screen. So, one screen would be um, 100, 100 inch, 120 inch, 150 inch, and the screen would be 239.1 widescreen panorama. Now I know you're probably thinking, well I don't have a widescreen format projector. No, these screens can be cut. So you have the um, you have the ultimate ratio size projection screen because your screen can be cut to a hundred and um, um, 19, sorry, 16 by 9, 16 by 10, or you can cut it to two thirty. I can leave it and have it at 239.1. So consider that you have three ratio sizes now in this surface. Now, the surface is cut, like I said, for the 239.1 format. But other than that, the screen is absolutely, like I said, um, if you look at the size, it's actually gigantic. So if you decide you want to actually have a 239.1 widescreen panorama and 100 inch, you could do that with this surface with no problem. Now, like I said, the screen will come in three sizes, 100 inch, 120, 150. Now, you're looking at the screen and you're probably thinking, well, there's a lot of wrinkles in the screen. Now, as I explained before, this is an eight-way stretchable memory surface. You'll be able to pull all the wrinkles and anything out, and the screen is actually caused in shipping, or basically, when we coat the screen, you can pull all that out. Now, I'll show you why, because uh, right here is the Quantum Light Fusion. It is coated with a damper chemical, but it is uh, the same as this screen here on the floor. So it's the same surface, and this is once we pull the screen out, stretch it out into a frame, this is how it looks from here to here. And this one right here is like see-through because it's, it's hit with a certain chemical. And this one right here is hit with the Crystal H technology chemical right here. So I'm going to come over here real quick because I know I want to have some people that are going to hate on my video and they're going to say, well, you keep changing up the surface. You keep changing the surface. No fair. Well, you know, you know, with technology, it's going to change. You have to understand. It's going to change. Like if you got... Um, for gaming, I'm a big time gamer. Say you get the Xbox 360 when it first comes out, right? And then they change over to the Xbox One, right? Technology has to change, so as things start to advance, they have to change. And, you know, I don't basically say, hey, because I'm changing this over, you know, we're gonna charge higher for the screen. Now the screens are originally $468. That's the price for our 100 inch screen you know I'm not gonna say hey you have to pay us uh, an extra 200 or extra 300 dollars because the screen now is going to be in 239.1 format so that'd be kind of wrong to do that so I'm giving you the same screen for 468 dollars it just has more you're getting more screen for it so you have to consider that you know what I mean but um, I do this because I have to basically update I have to update everything so that I you know, I'm trying to, you know, keep two steps ahead of, of, of the big companies out there, you know. So, and then at the same time, uh, trying to give you guys a much better deal. So, you know, you guys aren't sitting there going, you know, gee whiz, the screen costs an arm and a leg. I can't afford it. You know, I don't want you to go down that road. You know, you know, you know, people sit there and say, well, hey, you know, to tell you the truth, you know, honestly and truthfully, the reason why I, I, I don't, um, and a lot of people don't realize this. I did this video. I was talking about selling out. Um, and something I forgot to add it in there, add in there is the fact that if I was a person that was bent on making a ton of money and like, you know, forget the customers, it's all about me, it's all about making money, so on and so forth, I wouldn't be living in this environment. I wouldn't be living. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I like this place. I do. I love my home, but I'd be in a much, much bigger place. I'd be driving a fancier car because, you know, I've tested my screens against a lot of these high tech screens on the market and I beat them. 
So I've, had, I've gotten offers to sell my chemical. So I know what this chemical can do. I know the value of this chemical. And if I wanted to, I could charge your arm and a leg for these screens, but you know, it, it wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be fair for somebody, like when I first started out, like I said, when I first wanted my projection screen, I went to look high tech, I went for my gaming and everything. And I realized, hey, these companies are gonna charge me more because the screen is a different color. And they're gonna charge me more because the screen's wider. And they're gonna charge me more because the screen has a higher gain. You know, I just thought it was insanity. I look at it was insanity. So, you know, I decided, when if I, if I decided to go on this venture, which now I have, I am going to charge, I want to change things over here. I'm going to basically say, hey, look, if you want a screen, you have three color options. You can have it in black, you can have it in dark silver, you can have it in ultralight silver 3D. Um, I'll, I bit a code into all the screens so they actually have the same gain, so you're not paying more for one screen because the gain is higher than the other. And if you want your screen in a widescreen format, that'll be free too. So I'm trying, you know, to do uh, better, um, to give back more, you know, because. Um, what a lot of these companies really don't understand, and I mean truly understand, without the customer, their companies do not exist. So do not treat your customers uh, like, um, like, like a price tag. I look at my customers like they're family. All right, so let's get over here and let's look at this right here. So this is the screen right here. So this is what I'm telling you because I got the bowl. Actually, I don't need a bowl for this. What I keep doing is not the bowl for this. So I'm going to put my knee here on the screen. This is a customer screen. Don't worry, it's not going to get damaged. Put my knee there and I'm going to pull on the material because you see we have the wrinkle here. I pull on the material right here. And the material is very stretchable and flexible. And as you can see, you don't see the lines in the screen. Let me have pull it more. Mine, I'm just holding the camera myself. My wife, who was holding the other, holding the camera, the other one is, is upstairs asleep. I don't want to interrupt her. She's very tired, very, very tired. So, as you can see, see right there, you can pull the wrinkles out of the screen right there. It's a very flexible material. So, it doesn't make a difference how we fold or wrap the screen, which I'm going to fold it very carefully. I'm going to ball up like I did in the last demonstration. All that comes out just by stretching the material. It comes right out of the screen right there. See right there? And it's a memory surface, so once you pull it, you're good. So, show you right there. Right there. And all I have to do is just pull on it. That's it right there. I don't want to, um, I'm holding the camera and it's kind of hard to do this. But this just shows you right there. It's very stretched, very pullable. So it's fantastic material. So all this right here, all these imperfections, not imperfections, but all these wrinkles in the screens, all this is going to pull out of the screen and it's going to look fantastic. I love this freaking surface. See, it's the same surface we have there. Look at that. All right, so let me come over here real quick and let me show you. I'll pull this out. Now, uh, the edges of the screen, just to let you know, and I pointed this out before, we'll have these little tabs on the end. Now, the tabs are there because um, this is how we paint the screen. We paint the screens flat. The reason why we paint them flat is because if we paint them um, on a standing up, um, you'll, you'll suffer from paint drips, and that could occur in the screen very easily, but by laying them flat, we have more control over um, how the paint is actually um, dispersed on the screen. Also, too, uh, just to add that the screens are cut slightly larger, so, you know, give you guys a little free room. I think they're about an inch uh, larger, so you're gonna, if you wrap this around your frame or how you're gonna cut this, you know, you'll be good to go. This is a very, very, very big screen. Let's step back here for a minute and show you how big the screen is. The screen is about, I think, somewhere between 12, no, it's 100, 146. I'll put the information at the bottom. This is very big, 146. They're on the biggest size is 61 inches high and um, about um, 146, I think. I'm not sure, but I'll put all that information at the bottom of the video. So if we do decide, if you guys like this, if you do, if you like this, and we decide to go with this surface right here, this is what you'll be getting for $468. For $468 for a 100 inch, you'll be getting a screen that is uh, 239 uh, point one and with 239.1 you have the option you can cut your screen to 169 you can cut the screen to 1610 or you can just leave it at the 239.1 and uh, just have this giant screen in your home 
at 100 inches. So if you ever wanted that really cool high tech look, you could do it with this. All right, also too, uh, like I said, the screen sizes will be coming from 100 inch uh, to 150 inch. Uh, the 177s are completely sold out, so we're not doing those anymore. Um, they're, they're done, they're all sold out. I mean, completely, 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 completely sold out. All right, so I want to show you. Okay, so this is the next thing I want to show you. Now, when you get your screen, what we do is we put this, as you'll see here, we put this paper in between your screen. Now, here's the screen right here. These are, these are the screens that are going out right now. And as you said, the brown paper actually interlined with the screen. So we fold the screen up like really like a flat kind of thin tube and then the screen is folded in half and then we put that into a box. Now don't worry about like I said because the material is very flexible like I did on the demonstration I could ball that up in my hand and I can actually just stretch that screen out and it'll look fantastic. So these screens are very very portable. Cool thing about this is we could transport this overseas and instead of a screen costing us uh, 390 or 250 we could do this easily because we can put this into a box so this is the paper that we put between the surface now the reason why the paper is put between the surface when you get it is even though the screen is dry the screen's been up here for about a day even though it is dry the screen is constantly curing so we put the paper in between because it keeps the surface from making contact with the other surface and the screen might stick we don't want that so that's what kind of cancels out the sticking for the screen so this is a screen right here that I have another screen sitting on top of right here this is the guy who ordered a dark silver screen this is the screen right here and I'm gonna lift this up and you'll see right there that it doesn't stick and that's what makes that fantastic because it won't stick at all right there like I said all this will come out I know people look at this and saying, there's a lot of wrinkles, don't worry, all these wrinkles, all this stretches out of the screen. I'm going to be building a bigger one for myself. I think I'm going to do a, a giant, like 150 inch, 239.1 screen. I'm going to build a giant one, but yeah, like I said, this is a memory surface, all this pulls out, which I like about it, and this makes it easier for us to transport our screens from here to there, and like I said, just to show you a bit of a, um, um, more of an insight look at the screen when it's stretched out this is what it looks like when you stretch it out all those little wrinkles and lines just disappear and it's like this is the clear screen with the quantum light fusion and this is the other screen right here so it all pulls out with no problem at all well you guys hope you enjoyed this video demonstration um you know I, like i said i've tried to get back more usually you know if a company is going to charge you for a screen that's 239.1 they're going to charge you a ton of money and for what these screens can do, you know, um, the capability of what they can do, you know, they'll charge you even more than that. So, you know, I could imagine basically giving this over to anybody else because I know what will happen. I know that they'll take the technology and I know they'll charge your arm and a leg and they'll be in the same repeat of the same nonsense that you see daily. And that's why, you know, within my contracts, my distributorship contracts, and some people don't like them. They don't. Some people don't like our distributorship contracts, and I'm gonna tell you why before I go. The reason why they don't like our distributorship contracts, not everybody, but some people, people that are going to do wrong and have uh, no intention of doing right by the customer. This is actually what we have in the contract. Within that contract, you have to keep that screen at the price we set it for. So the price is $468. The price of that screen will sell for $468. There is a heavy penalty if you basically um, price gouge that screen. And the reason why we do that is because we want to make sure those screens stay at a certain price. That's the price they're going to be. That's the price they're going to stay. And nobody can change that. Because for me, and I'll say it 100,000 times, and I don't care if people don't believe me or not, it's about the customer. It's what it's about. At the end of the day, it's in the beginning of the day and the end of the day, it's about the customer. A customer, the object of designing these screens is to bring a high tech and a better quality screen to the marketplace without the insane cost, without all the little crazy um, restrictions and crap you got to go through. It's just something simple for the everyday Joe to come home, turn on his projector, enjoy a baseball game, watch a movie with his kids, go out and back. You're having back ever barbecue. This is what it's about. You don't have to be a high-tech genius. You don't have to be a projector guru. You just have to be an everyday, just, just 
it's all about keeping it simple, keeping it real. That's what it's about. So that's something I don't see in a lot of these companies today. And sometimes, you know, you have to make a stand and change things. You know what I mean? I might not make a big change, but at least, you know, it all begins with one step. Maybe somebody who after I pass away and <laughs> might decide to, to do something in the same way, you know. So, hey, I got to get going. I got so much work to do on my plate to do right now. I hope you guys love the size of the screen. I hope you guys say, hey, yes, this is what we want. So I can go ahead and start doing this, you know, because I like this format I do. All right, guys, you all have a good one out there. Check you guys out later.